Yeah, Super Sentai. The Japanese show that Power Rangers is adapted from. Well, I must say, some Sentai seasons might be better than some Power Rangers adaptations. <coughs> Go Kaiser! <coughs> But then again, some Power Rangers seasons may be better than the original Sentai seasons. <coughs> SPD. <coughs> but with both of these shows, there is one thing that both of these shows have in common. They would both go to all sorts of lengths to attract some new viewers. And in Super Sentai's case, one of them is this. Super Sentai World. From the research that I've done, this was a 10 minute special 3D video that was used to be played at certain theme parks at certain parts of Japan in 1994. But wait, this footage doesn't look 3D to me. Well, that's because the special video was later released onto VHS and DVD, which does explain the strange high quality in this footage here. But does this video have obvious 3D shots in it? You know, like this. Well... Yes, but they're not really in your face per se. It's not like, oh look, we're in 3D. Ooh, be amazed, our sword is closer to your eyes. Adore us, please adore us. Not only that, but this video is also a crossover with Nimpu Sentai Kaku Ranger and the four Sentai teams that came before them. Five Man, Jet Man, Zoo Ranger, and Die Ranger. So, I'm guessing continuity wise, this video must have taken place before the O Ranger vs. Kaku Ranger movie. Which, by the way, was the first Sentai vs. Sentai crossover movie. So, is Super Sentai World as great and as rememberable as, say, How to Train Your Dragon in 3D? Or is it as laughable as... <laughs> yeah, that. So, let's just take a look and see. Uh... Hello? Aren't you gonna do anything? Okay, is this about ninjas in colorful spandex, or is this about Slenderman? Just do something already! Holy oh god, it is Slenderman! Oh no, wait, wait, that's just Ninja Black. Wow, they couldn't afford the Cocker Rangers to drive on a road or on a motorway. They had to film them driving on an airfield runway. Why do I expect them to just take off flying, like they do in Top Gun? <sighs> I just can't look at the Zoo Rangers anymore without thinking... Oh, no, 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 that's Mighty Morphin, bitch. Wait, maybe this'll help. No, it's not working. Speaking of which, if you're one of the viewers watching this video right now who only recognizes the Kaku Ranger costumes because you only remember seeing them in Mighty Morphin Season 3, which is about... 85% of you, Nimpu Sentai Kaku Ranger wasn't a team of aliens from a planet that mostly consisted of water. No, 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 no. Instead, Kaku Ranger were a group of highly trained ninjas. Yeah. Ninjas. Aliens. Ninjas. Aliens. Isn't that like if you're planning to adapt Gal Ranger, but you turn the entire Wild Force cast into a group of robots? The story begins with a normal civilian couple playing around with a picture camera, when suddenly... What is that? 
The boy Skeletor's minions are attacking. Quick, someone must protect Castle Grayskull. Oh no, wait. Here's Skeletor. Skeletor! You're so muddy, supermarket. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Gotta love those early 90s Japanese effects. God, times have changed. Ninja Black! Ninja Blue! Ninja Red! Ninja White! Ninja Yellow! Shoni Kakrete Akuo Kiru! Ninja Sentai! Ninja Squadron Kaku Ranger to appear? Oh no wait, Kaku Ranger appear. Why don't you just say that then? And it looks as though they have the same editing as seen in Mighty Morphin. Where one second the Kaku Rangers are in the woods, and then the next second they're in a rock quarry. It's Japanese, don't question it. Who are you? Oh, and do you love those moments in Japanese shows where they randomly say something in English? Oh, and I don't just mean one English word. No, no, no. I mean small English sentences. Who are you? Merry Christmas! Oh my! Konnichiwa! Je m'appelle James. Paella, provavore? Isn't it funny to you that this is supposed to be a kid show, but yet they use words like hell, crap, damn, bastard, and shit. They occasionally kill off some main Sentai characters. According to Decoranger, there are alcohol and drug references, and they often use actual guns as an opposed to laser guns. <laughs> We must protect these two civilians that we just met a minute ago. I mean, I know it's Super Sentai and all, they must protect all of civilization, but these are people that we know next to nothing about. I mean, they aren't holding the Kaku Ranger's mentor hostage, or a secondary Kaku Ranger character, just some random civilian couple. <laughs> But then, right out of the blue, no pun intended, the previous four Sentai teams step in to help the Kaku Rangers. This does make you question how and why this could be happening by this point, because from what I can recall, the Zyu Rangers ascended into heaven, the Dai Rangers gave up their powers to defeat their biggest enemy, the Five Man traveled away from Earth to a distant planet to reunite with their parents or whatever, and one of the Jetman, aka Black Condor, was killed off. So, before he returned to the living world in Gokaiger, he already returned to the living world here? So, is Black Condor, like, Danny Phantom or something? Can he just change from dead to alive at will? Yay! And cue the traditional colored explosions. <laughs> Is this meant to be taken seriously? I mean, why would they make the foot soldier sound like this? Yep, before the great legendary war in Gokaiger, there was this smaller legendary war. I will avenge Dragon Rager! <laughs> Oh crap, defeated by... streamers. Um... Thanks, Die Yellow. Thanks for saying that in front of the cameraman. Also, if you were to hear the phrase, Drunken Fist, 
What do you think is the first thing that comes to mind? Oh, go on, you gum bomb up. Go on, you gum bomb up fight. Go on, you. Uh. Gonna get a par. There. Ah. You know, for such a low light, you're sure as hard as a rock. You know, just try to get. <laughs> Oh god, I feel sorry for that guy who was in that costume. He has to be hit hard in his kryptonite spot so many times just for a kids program. They should have given that guy a few extra yin for the sacrifices he had to make. Hey look, Ninja Red is using the prototype for the Ninja Steel Morpher. I don't know why, but I love seeing Yellow Owl flying in the background like that. Simply because it's cheesy early 90s stunt work. I say stunt work because, if you haven't noticed already, there's hardly any special effects. Take this scene for example. Howdy! And now let's look at the original. No special effects. You know, like animated laser effects or mecha model work. Hell, we never see any of the Sentai unmorphed. So, did they bring all of these actors back to reprise their roles? Or did they bring in some impersonators? <laughs> It looks like the Kaku Rangers are copying Go Rangers finishing move, kicking a rugby ball back and forth and then at the enemy. Only this one doesn't suddenly change into a bowl of soup, a rubbish truck, or, of all things, a group of cheerleaders. <laughs> So, are all the other Sentai just standing still like a statue until Five Red calls for his mecha? And instead of reusing stock footage of the mecha coming in and combining into their respective megazords, they just emerge from the ground like Godzilla. Hell, there's no footage of the Sentai in the cockpits of the Megazords. And it kinda leads you to believe that the Sentai had grown 100 times their size and turned into bulky robots. Kind of like Ultraman or the Magi Ranger Mecha. Although, it is rather cool to see footage of the original Megazord, the Thunder Megazord and the Shogun Megazord fighting together. Especially considering this would have been impossible to do in Power Rangers. Oh, well that's a bit of careless stupidity, isn't it? The villain is just boasting about his weak spot? Who does that? That's kind of like... I don't know, in Power Rangers Turbo, the Phantom Ranger is fighting an enemy until he says, Oh, so hey, um, I hear Divatox is looking for a power source to fuel this evil Megazord that she's working on. Well, let me tell you, that can't possibly be this ruby in my chest. I mean, by gum, it has all of this power, but I need it to keep me alive. Keeping a useless, underdeveloped bugger like me alive. So, whatever Diva Tox is looking for, it is definitely not this crystal. <laughs> ah, shit. I ain't so good, dead. So, the Shogun Megazord just needed to unleash its final move onto the third eye? So, what was really the point of all of those other Megazords being involved? 
which is pretty much something that you can't say in Power Rangers. Nearly every Ranger team has to give up or lose their powers at the end. Except for things like regenerating dino gems, repairing damaged power coins, believing in magic, and trusting the spirits of the Wild Zords, pulling the Quasar Sabers out of a rock, even though you've declared them pointless now, or abseiling down an endless abyss of sorrow to get them back. You know, what's the point of losing these powers if there is always a way to get them back? And then they decide to perform the exact same roll call that they made before. Ninja Sentai! Kakurenta Kenta! Oden Sentai! Ninja! Um, guys, we're not watching the Teletubbies. If you did the roll call once, then I think we can remember it. I think we can all remember that that's Kaku Ranger, Dai Ranger, Zoo Ranger, Jetman, and Five Man. Thank you. Um, narrator, are you awake? And indeed they did. So, that was Super Sentai World, and... It's... Cheesy, but in an enjoyable way. I mean, sure, there's no real special effects, there are a few continuity errors, and... If you're like me, and I've never seen a full episode of Kaku Ranger, then some things might be questionable. But, the fighting is pretty enjoyable, the filmography is pretty well done for its time, and hey, at least we got to see 25 men and women in rainbow spandex fighting silly men in costumes, which is pretty much what we came for. As for me, well, I plan to watch Uchi Sentai Q-Ranger every week. Now then, let's see what we have here. What? Wait, what? They already have nine rangers in the series? Oh no no wait, it's scratch that. Eleven? What? Oh, okay, um, let's start off small for now. Um, what about Ninja? Mm, it looks a bit boring to me. Sorry, but I'm not really into ninjas and samurai stuff that much. Alright then, final decision. Zero sure. Well, that's not going to irritate me at all.